Okay, what I'm going to be doing today is swapping the motherboard in my diesel heater. Now this is one of the, I think they're the newer type, and it has a different controller which looks identical to the old one. I'll put a picture up in a moment. That's the controller here on the right hand side. Now as you can see, it's almost identical to this one here. If you look at the there are very very subtle differences. Apparently these um, arrows are slightly smaller on this one and this on off symbol is a little smaller compared with oh and one other thing the OK as well is very very tiny. Over on the older ones which are in my opinion a lot better it's much easier to set the timer as you can see the arrows here are that little bit bigger and the OK is bigger as well as is the on off the power standby uh, logo there it's slightly thicker I'll bring the second one in and see if I can show you the difference you can see the, the very very slight differences but this one here is the older type, which is has access to the you know secret functions, the 1688, and you can set the you know the fueling levels and that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not particularly happy with this one, it's a nightmare to set the timer on this. And that controller is not compatible with that board. So what I need to do is replace it with this board. Now what I'll do in a moment is I'll put on an overlay of what these connections are. But basically, this is the temperature probe, the thermal sensor, which is on top of the um, heater unit. This is the fan connection here. As you can see, it's three pronged. It's all three contacts in there. There's actually only two on the fan. And I just need to make sure that I get that round the right way so the fan doesn't turn in the wrong direction. And this one here is the heater glow plug. On the old one, completely different. You can see where the wire comes in from the left hand side. I've got the boards the same way. On the old one, the glow plug is on this one. The temperature sensor is on this one. And the fan is on this one, I believe. Um, but I'll make sure there's an overlay here just to correct that. I might have got these two mixed up. If I have, I'm sorry, I'll correct it in an image in a second. Right, and as you can see, that's my heater in place. Now, obviously, the green and yellow goes to the glow plug. This one here with a white plug on it, in this case, this is the newer type, which has got the, the uh, horrible control on it. That has the white plug on it, and your thermal sensor has the red plug, which has two connections, but it's a three-pin plug. Now, quite difficult for, to see there, but you can see there's the one-two connections, and they go into those two connections there. So obviously when I put that in the board, I have to make sure that those two connect. It doesn't matter which way these two go round, as long as they two. It's just a resistance on the sensor. So it's nothing to worry about. So let me see if I can get this on here now. So I'm hoping I'll just be able to plug this in here, the glow plug. Quite a stiff wire, that one. I'm hoping those connections are going to be okay. The red plug has got to come over to here. But what I'm going to do, because this, the other thing is, of course, is that the side entry has got this little thing on it here. I'll swap that over and block that off because this board has to now sit like this because the 
fan sensor is there. So this has to go and I'm going to try it. I've got a feeling this is going to not fire. I've got a feeling this is going to go the wrong way. But if you can see that there, I'm going to put that plug on with the live, in this instance, as in to the bottom of the picture. Now, I suspect that that will be going the wrong way, that will be turning the wrong way around. Um, and again, the heat sensor, that needs to go just into the two pins like that. Okay, so let's drop this back in here. It's quite hard, I don't want to put too much pressure on the glow plug either because those are quite sensitive. And drop that in there. Drop that cable down there. A little easier said than done by the looks of things. There's the plug for it. Anyway, what I'll do now is I'll button this up and then we'll give it a try. And I've got a feeling it's going to throw the error code. I think it's 01 that the, it, uh, the fan is not turning or the fan is not running. But um, let me button this up and let's give it a try. Okay, now I've got that connected. It's all a little bit stiff, so I'm just going to try turning this on now because what should happen is this fan should spin that way that way so that it drives the air across the heat exchanger and obviously compresses the um, combustion chamber in there as well so let me just fire that up for a second yep that went the right way So if I pop the lid on, Here's, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Let me get the lid on, I'll come back to you. Okay, here we go. This is the new controller, which has the different functions on it. Let's start this now. And the fan does appear to be running the right way. I'm not sure about uh, whether or not the settings, you know, like the fuel rate and what have you, is uh, correct. But let's see if she fires up. Have a little watch on this display as we go. Right, now according to this, we have a glow plug. Any second now we should get the fuel pump kicking in. Let this do its thing. I'll come back to you in a second. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now you can see the glow plug logo. Just uh, just here. And you can probably, if I shut up, you can probably hear the glow plug in the background. Hoping we should get ignition. I'll give this another set for 22 Celsius. Well, it sounds like we have ignition. Yep, yeah, certainly sounds like uh, we're running.
what I'll do with this is um, I've um, taken some pictures of the two different boards and um, I'll leave them at the end of the video so you can compare the two and you can see the con connections on each um, but that sounds like we have ignition yes we have we've got one of the bars has popped up one of the bars has popped up the unit is starting to warm up in fact I can feel it pumping heat next to my foot there we go that's glow plug out and the unit's now gonna turn itself right up I might have to tune this because I have a feeling that um, the settings might be a little bit wrong for what I need it to do but uh, that's certainly going now that sounds like maximum fan speed and probably maximum fuel delivery as well yep there's the third temperature bar come up let's just hang on a second and see if we get some more up I'll come back to you in a moment once this is up to temperature and we'll see how it's going. Start with this again. As you can see that's almost up to temperature there. Let's just uh, give it a press a button just to get the light to come on. Yep, we are almost. We've got five bars up. And there's the six. We are now at full working temperature. Now, I'm actually surprised that uh, the fan went in the correct way like that. But that was just put the fan connector straight onto the board with the little toggle that locks it in place in the correct place. You know, don't turn it through 180 degrees and put it on. Just put it on exactly as it clips on. And that seems to be working fine. So I'll just stop this now. should go down for its rundown cycle so yep glow plugs come back on good that all seems to be working fine for me so what I can do now is I can edit all this up for you and then at some point I can learn how to use this controller but I do know that this one has a better timer function on it uh, then the, the other one you had to set a delay of when you wanted it to come on and then uh, a delay of when you wanted it to go off again. This one you can simply set times on it, you know, like for instance you want it to come on at 5am in the morning and go off at 6am. It's much, much easier to do on this controller than it is on the other one. And it also means that if you are going to upgrade to uh, the newer type blue controller, which has a little um, fob with an LCD on it, you can just plug this straight in go straight into that plug there it's a standard generic three pin plug as you can see they just go straight in there this one just pops straight in there um, and there's also the um, uh, very um, very uh, good controller that uh, the chap in Australia makes um, which I think is called the commander and that has lots and lots of functions and if you've got this controller working, you can use that. But that commander will not work with this board. So if you have this board, big giveaways, this capacitor on here. If you have this board, you will have this slightly different controller. And apparently they use a different protocol. So this will not work with the uh, blue controller with a little red um, fob with the LCD on it and it won't work with the commander that uh, the chap in Australia makes um, and that if you want it is really worth having I'd like to get one myself but uh, apparently it's not delivering to the UK at the moment hopefully that'll change soon so uh, let me just stop this there and uh, I'll put some more pictures on the end of this so you can see the connections for yourself and obviously if you're then having to buy one of these panels from eBay or Amazon or wherever You'll know what you're getting and you'll know how to use it. Okay, hope this uh, helps somebody. Thank you. Bye-bye.